As of recently, Marvel has been very much in a sense of do we or do we not do a project? Now, we heard from Marvel Entertainment, aka Marvel Studios, as they are right now, that they are currently in the process of picking and choosing what kind of projects they want to do, specifically in the area of both movies and series, and they're going to focus mostly on their bigger characters, because as of what we heard per, like recently, they've been kind of like choosing to do a bunch of projects, and then due to the change in leadership over at Disney, that has kind of shifted now to let's focus on quality instead of quantity. Now, I can be talking about Marvel Studios, but we forget that Marvel is just more than just its studios. There's also its division of comic books. There's a bunch of different properties that are spread out through different universes. Recently, we saw, you know, Madam Web, which I'll choose not to talk about. Um, and also, Marvel exists in the gaming community as well. And as for that specific part, Marvel has been acing their stuff when it comes to gaming. Uh, as of recently, the three biggest Marvel games that came out from Marvel were Spider-Man games, which is baffling. You know, they've been really acing their spades in that department. And that's really cool. But when it comes down to it, we still haven't seen yet what the next gen is capable of in certain scenarios when it comes to Marvel games specifically. Now, you could probably say that Spider-Man 2 is a technical Marvel, and I'm, I choose to agree with you because um, I got to play Spider-Man Miles Morales on PS5 for maybe a good hour or two uh, when we had a friend of ours visit, and that game is amazing, and then I ended up later getting it for PC, and it's a fantastic game. It, I played it through it from beginning to end on PC, and it played beautifully, and honestly, it's a great game. Great game. But there hasn't been anything that I could say like, you know what, this is specifically for next gen. Until recently. Until I decided that I wanted to see what exactly was all the fuss. And I saw an article that said, hey, you should check this out. And luckily enough, it has to do with a little something that I have right here. Yes, as you can see, this is actually a Hydra pin. This is actually something that actually comes with Loot Crate, uh, and it's actually a certified, you know, prop replica that was from Captain America, the first Avenger. Now, this is all great, but we need to talk about 1943 Rise of Hydra, which is probably one of the most incredible tech demos I saw and the fact that we're going to be able to play this game very soon, very soon, uh, is baffling to me. So if you're already aware, uh, right now Marvel has, you know, obviously announced a bunch of different games that they are working on. And this one, this specific one, is the one that kind of like took me a second to like, you know, breathe and say, okay, this is next gen. This is what I consider to be a next-gen title. And when you see the tech demo, the trailer for this game, it just blows you away. Because the facial animations in this freaking trailer are just, like, mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. You know, and based on what I hear, since it is based in Unreal Engine, and the whole tech demo happened because of Unreal's you know, progress in the meta-human uh, part of their technology, uh, it is uncanny. It really is uncanny. Like, the fact that you look at somebody in this game, and you can tell that it is that person. And in this case, we have a Black Panther, which a lot of people who are fans of Walking Dead will know. Kahari Payton, which is a fantastic actor, fantastic actor, who essentially went from, uh, in Walking Dead at least, 
uh, taking care of a feline to literally becoming a feline, the Black Panther. So it's really cool to see him kind of play that character, and he's a very powerful performer. So in order to preserve his performance, they had to make this game very believable, and honestly, they nailed it. They nailed it. I mean, to see him play Black Panther is just awesome, and I can't wait to see his performance in this game. Now, we do get to see Captain America in this game. Um, we also get to meet two other characters, which, based on what I understand, one is a Wakandan spy, and the other one is a general who is kind of on Cap's side in this case. And what I heard about this game is that Captain America and Black Panther are kind of going head to head, uh, mostly because one thinks that the other is kind of invading, you know, being essentially a spy for Hydra, until we kind of find out later. I mean, it's obvious what's gonna kind of happen. Like, they're fighting against each other until they find out that there's something much more sinister happening with Hydra. So, I think that this is gonna be a fantastic game, specifically for the aspect that not only is it technologically amazing, but I really do think that the story is gonna be a big standout in this game. And I've always wanted to see if they would ever do something in the realm of, you know, an Uncharted-esque Marvel game. And in this case, that's what it really is gonna come down to, is that this is gonna be sort of the Uncharted of the Marvel games universe. And I can prove it to you even more that this is exactly the case because the person headlining the project is probably one of my favorite writers, directors, game directors that I know, and that is Amy Hennig. Amy Hennig literally kind of birthed Uncharted, which till this day, I still think that the entire series is absolutely amazing. Uh, Uncharted 4 is probably one of the most gripping, like just absolutely breathtaking stories I've ever played. I mean, that game came out in 2016, I believe. And now we're like eight years later and that game still holds up. I mean, literally, I can pop it into my PS4 and play it. And I start playing it and I'm like, this is just absolutely breathtaking. So I mean, the fact that we have Amy Hennig on this project, like it eases my mind. Like I just know everything is gonna be absolutely amazing about this game. Like I haven't seen a project of hers that has failed massively because she knows how to take this in a really good direction. And dude, I am just so excited to see this game come to fruition and be a massive success. Now, as for what kind of story elements are we gonna see, I don't really know. I don't know any sort of in-depth looks for the game that will essentially change my perspective on anything. But what I do know is that this game is gonna be probably on my most wanting to play list. You know, and I might, just might, could be a, a, an inkling here, but I might want to get it on a PS5. Even though I don't own a PS5, I would like to get it on a PS5. And that could be the game that kind of like puts me over the edge to get a PS5. But essentially, based on what I've been, you know, realizing, this is probably going to go to PC. So I might skip on the PS5 version and go straight. To PC and play it on my PC. So who knows, maybe that will be the case of this game in specific. And I just cannot wait to play this game. And to me, I gave you what I think are, are, are the, the main points of this game. But I want to know exactly what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think of this game and this in incredible tech demo slash trailer that they gave us because that really, really, really excites me and puts me in the right headspace for where gaming is going. And ultimately, I wanna thank you guys so much for actually taking the time 
to come and see these videos and actually, you know, sometimes even interact to actually get the discussion rolling because I absolutely love talking to you guys every single day. So when you guys have those chances of putting a comment down, please do. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when new videos go live on this channel. Now, apart from incredible, adventurous Marvel characters that we get to see in video games, there are cases in which we want to see those Marvel characters on the big screen. And something is happening next week that essentially will kind of change things uh, for Marvel. And I have a bit of a theory on that as to why they are doing this. But let's just say our friendly neighborhood Spidey has something to do with it. So, friendly neighborhood Spidey, big screen. I think I give you guys enough clues as to what next week's topic will be.